Hello, it's time for violence. Welcome to another Dun Greed. I have Lotus here armed up with the Huando, which believe it or not, is not a katana. We also have Blood of Sorbeo and Bloodstone Ring because I'm out for blood. That's right, lots of healing. So interesting story about this one. I'm gonna get in and get straight to it. I've already uh, grabbed all the items and things that I need. I have um, no remorse for this dungeon going in. This is my second attempt at a recording for my Dun Greed video. The first one, I actually spent ages. By the way, that's the special ability of the Huando. It's pretty badass, right? I spent ages setting up this run that I, I just finished doing about, about 15 minutes ago, where I had Lara's magical wand on Alice, and I was doing a magical girl run using Alice, who I haven't used in a video before, and it was going to be all chill and easy, and it was. It was incredibly chill, incredibly easy. A stupid easy run where I just sat around and shot magical shooting stars at all my enemies, and they all melted and died, and many laughs were had. I even got a magnifying glass to increase their damage. It was amazing. And then, catastrophe. Grilled mushrooms, give me this. My microphone decided it was going to stop recording audio halfway into the run for almost no discernible reason, right? Either something went terribly, terribly wrong without me knowing, you know, what, uh, an error occurred, something, right? Or my cat has laid on something and, and somehow managed to either mute it or switch it off. And I couldn't fix this until I did a hard reboot of the entire... Yeah! Cut them all! Of, of my entire PC. My entire rig needed to be rebooted before I could get it to come alive again. And I don't know what the problem was even now. So this recording could suffer a very similar fate. I don't know if there's anything wrong with my hardware. We don't know. Point is, I am out for blood. I am I am frustrated. It took forever to set that run up. It was a badass run. It was a lot of fun. And I've lost it. Well, I've lost the second half of it. And I'm not going to give you guys half of a video and then wing uh, basic commentary afterwards. That's you guys aren't ready for that. You guys you guys like the the live stuff. You like the suffering. You like the reality of the situation. We like the riot shield, because we're going to have a riot over here. We're going to come in. I'm going to drop this little little gun down here. Oh, and by the way, this is pointless to get rid of that. We can't we can't sell it. We can't give it away. We can't do anything with it. Destroy all of that. Bam, there we go. This ability is pretty damn nice. It, it accurately represents my feelings right now. Give me the silver ring. Come up here. Uh, this room, please. The silver ring is increasing our health, power, and a little bit of defense. It's kind of trash. I'll replace all this as we go. I'm taking damage from enemies because I just don't care right now. Get cut. Get cut. I wish the damage on this was higher. Um, the actual special ability. But I get it. I get it. If it was too good... Ow. If it was too good, then it would be really broken. Kind of like Lara's magical wand. Damn, it's so sad that I lost that run. But here we are. Fresh run. Fresh attempts with the Huando, which... I've used once before, so this is a rare occasion. I, I could have swore when I very first unlocked this, I'm like, no way, is that a one-handed katana? A one-handed katana would be incredible to use for no more reason than simply I could have the Samurai Soul increasing the attack speed and the Yagengeba also increasing attack speed and it would turn into a blur of damage. You would think. But no, that's not the case, because this does not get uh, the katana tag. Sadly, unfortunately, tragically, I'm also learning the Huando's ability has uh, a, a certain radial range to it. So I need to get uh, a certain distance to my enemies, about there, and I'll hit them. And that little guy kind of didn't die and missed out on joining his friends in the afterlife, so let's send him there manually. What do we have here? The main gorge? No. I don't care about the main gorge. I don't care whatsoever. I care about blood. I care about slaying people, getting big critical hit chance, and just obliterating everything in my way. No, ma'am. Perish before you have a chance to sing. Who else? Who's next? I know there's more. I know there's more of you. I'm also using Lotus because of her unique effect, where as she hits enemies, she inflicts a, uh, a little Lotus status effect on them. It, it, all you need to know, really, it helps boost her damage. It, it just makes her hit enemies harder. That's pretty much it. We're ready to come back to the shop and buy something else. I could get this big fat 8.7% crit chance. 
which I might do. I want the defense as well. I want to balance some defense along with, but I can't. Wait, I can. I'm an idiot. I could get both. Yes. Okay, good. That's really good. Let's, um, I'm going to make a quick stop at the altar here and, and get rid of, wait, I've got a monocle here. Um, you know what? Put the monocle on instead of the silver ring. I don't, I don't care about the ring right now. Get rid of these. There we go. Let's, let's move our way to the first boss. Let's go. Let's go take out some aggression against Belly, you know? Poor little Bell. Always over here. Just trying to live his best life. And then here's us. Causing absolute problems for him. Now, I want to do... Yeah, here we go. I wanted to see if it, her effect on Huando would make her immune uh, to the damage of the lasers. And it seems to be pretty, pretty strong and work pretty much as described. There. Belly's dead. Killed in great speed. Perish. Give me your money. Give me a good item. Give me good stuff. I want that good stuff. I want that good stuff. Ah, uh, coffee, anvil, bug. Now, considering I have very high satiety right now, it's 116, I could take the coffee and get a little bit of hunger reduced, maybe get some critical hit chance to help boost my blood of sorbeo. Or I could anvil my sword. You know what? I'm going to take the coffee first. I'll anvil the sword afterwards. I know I know, anviling your, your weapons is really good, but I want that. There we go. I want that strawberry crepe. I want that crit chance. The more crit that I build up, the better uh, Blood of Sorbeo works to keep me alive. Which, by the way, I found the blood during that, that run that failed. I wasn't intending to actually keep or use a Blood of Sorbeo. But it just showed up naturally in the run. It's like, yo, this is fate. The game is aware. The game has become self-aware and is conscious of what's happening. So, of course... I kept my Blood of Sorbeo. Ah, an actual Kuji sword. Mm, I might take this just in case this does turn into some sort of a, a katana run. Let me buy that real quick. Now let's see, iron armor is pretty nice. I could take that, I could take that instead of the Bloodstone ring. I don't think I really need Bloodstone. Increasing the chance for a chest to appear after battle is nice though. Hold on, let's do that. Let's get the iron armor. I'll put the Bloodstone ring down here. And keep it just in case I want it for later. Now, yeah, I figured as much. I figured as much. The Huando's ability needs a damage boost, all right? If it's not immediately destroying everything in its way, then what's the point, you know? It has to be able to just obliterate everything. But we will work on it, okay? We will work on it. We will make the Huando a force to be reckoned with reckoned with I tell you. what the hell did he block all of that he blocked my entire special move absolutely foul and despicable I cannot believe that he would block my entire move you know what here Wando yeah get some a steel mace that's not what I want I don't want a steel mace dude I don't want exploding bats yo hitbox hitbox ah dude thank you I can feel it now. The violence overtaking me. The power overwhelming me. The chunks of ice, like my cold heart, coming to... Oh, hey, the shop lady. Yay. Um, oh, I could take some sparkling water. Nuke flavored. Ew. Uh, defense. There's a lot of defense here. There's no crit, sadly. Let's let's get the bread. Shoutouts to uh, Baguette Game Girl once again. That bread, delicious. Uh, nah, nah, I'll come back. I'll come back. I don't need to use the nuke flavored water just yet. Wanda! Yeah! I'll duel you. Yeah! Die. I guess the one main benefit of the Huando not being a katana is that it doesn't suffer the minus percent of dash damage that all the katanas have. Like, none of the katanas are good for dashing. They, they all have dash damage reductions on them. But the Huando, the Huando isn't afraid to dash. The Huando isn't afraid to be a dreamer. Oi. Huando. Die. There we go. The Huando is starting to do some big damage with its cut. Which is called, what's it called again, by the way? I forget what the actual ability is called. It's called Deadly Strike. Of course it is. Why would it not be called Deadly Strike? Violence has shown up to ruin your de- No, Juan, to ruin your day. Nice. Nice. Imagine for a minute that you are a room full of enemies and then all of a sudden 
A very cute and petite Japanese girl wielding a Huando and a riot shield comes running in and just disappears, completely disappears from the face of reality and performs a cutting maneuver that decimates you as you move past. I'm actually beginning to think that this deadly strike move might make for a really good utility ability as opposed to just raw damage. Because if it's doing on average like 40 damage when you use it, she's already doing about 40 damage with her swings. That was a 70 crit. Damn, that was big. Um, but the Huando itself, yeah, see that? It immunes through things. It immunes. It's doing about the same damage as her regular swings, right? So that it makes it slower because she takes like, you know, a full second and a half to actually do it. But she becomes immune to problems while she is doing her little teleporting. Utility. Utility ability. Some of the best abilities are utility abilities. Die, 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 die. Give me all your money. I'd love a magnet. The magnet sucks up nearby gold. So you don't have to worry about... about... Yeah, Wanda! Man, it still didn't kill him. I gotta find something that's gonna make him disgusting. I need more power. I need more power. What do we have in here again? More defense and power? That'll do. Give me that. Now, seeing as how we have the Blood of Sorbea and we're healing for a lot as we go, maximum health only really matters if you can't realistically restore HP. So if, if, for example, I've got 120 health right now, if I'm never going below 100 HP because I'm healing it back up so quickly, what's the difference in 10 max life? I'm not even using the other 80% of my life as it is. So I can take this and have my life be uh, drained a little bit. And I mean, worst case scenario, I just find um, some more max HP on buffs or, you know, food items or, or after boss rewards anyway. But the idea is I want to reduce my satiety as much as I can. All right, Niffles, bring it. You're still a cutie, but I am in no mood to deal with you today. Apologies, but I'm choosing violence. Yes, block that on the way past. I am choosing uproarious violence. Slay her. No. I'm sorry, Niflheim. But I cannot allow you to do this. I cannot allow you to continue. Immune past the... the <laughs> immune past the, the spear on its way. <laughs> Yo, that was a moment right there. That was hype. That was cool. What we have here... Ah, that boosts uh, aiming stuff for uh, guns, anvil, and coffee. I passed up on the anvil last time. I won't do it two times in a row. Let's get the anvil. Let's let's make our Huando incredible. That sounds like a lot of fun. There you go. 20% better performance, so it's doing more damage. Uh, movement speed and power. The power on it, I really appreciate because we need to make this thing hit dummy hard. That's what I want. Dummy hard damage. We found the shop lady immediately. Wow. Oh, there you go. Grilled eel. See, I could get my health back and then some if I decide to take the grilled eel. However, we've got grilled mushrooms increasing my crit chance and my crit damage. My crit damage. I'm going to grab that first. Yo, yo, yeah, 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 yeah. Die. Die. How dare you. How dare you even consider harming me. You see how kawaii I am? You see how ka Why would you hurt someone this kawaii? La 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 He threw a spear at me! How dare you? I think this run is starting to chill out as well, you know? I think- I think initially I was like, ah, oh, this sucks. This is just gonna be, you know, me trying to- trying to make a run decent after I just lost that first one. But you know, this one is actually chilling out and turning into a really good time as well. And I- I appreciate that. I love it. It's amazing. What a, what a great run this is. The Huando, so much fun. Yo, kill these lizards. Let me make my way over here and say hello to this lizard. Oh, I did my deadly strike, but he was already dead. Imagine you're this super kawaii little Japanese samurai girl called Lotus with a riot shield and a Huando, and you make your way over to a lizard to kill him, but he already died because he's just not a match for your overwhelming kawaii power. Okay, lizards, give me a better fight than your... You're fallen. Oh, no, they're dead. <laughs> this feels like an ambush. Yeah, it's definitely an ambush. Yo, this guy, this little shaman dude here. No, no, perish. <gasps> I jumped in front. I jumped in front of that. Wonder. Oh, there's more. This is a proper ambush. 
Too bad you're dead. Look how fast he died. He just... Imagine you're a lizard and you spawn as the second wave in a two-wave ambush. But before you even have a chance to swing your weapon or do anything, this cute little kawaii Japanese girl called Lotus with a huando and a riot shield just kills you before you even have a chance to see her. Ah, oh, we found the room now. Look, another, another katana up there. Wait, the camera? Oh, the camera attacks the entire screen, right? The camera's kind of fun. So we have a riot shield, right? We have good defense, some block and toughness. It's not bad, but you know what would be even f more fun? Is the Kony Mex 5R, which is literally a camera that we can equip in our offhand that gives us plus one to our dash count, plus 15% attack speed, plus 150% stun duration, and 10 defense. So we're not even losing out that much on defense. We're mostly just losing the block and toughness. But that's fine, because we've got click, which deals damage and stuns all enemies on the screen. Behold. My God, I am so sorry. I've just, I literally just realized how awful that's gonna be for all of you. But at the same time, this is going to be hilarious for me. For me, this is hilarious. Extra attack speed, extra dodge, etc. Everything. Everything good. But my god, I am so sorry. There might need to be a seizure warning on this episode, I swear. Imagine for a second you are this entire species of lizard men, and then all of a sudden this little kawaii Japanese girl called Lotus comes out of nowhere armed with a Huando and a Kony Mex 5R camera and decides to just make your entire race extinct. Like this. This is stupid. It's stupid. It's stupid, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's dead. He's dead. Oh, this thing. Oh, this. Uh, shout outs to people who watch my skull videos. You know, if there's anyone who watches my skull videos. This is kind of like the root. If I go below, I think, what is it, 10 HP, this automatically triggers and restores 30 HP. But it is an accessory, so no, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to take coffee. Give me the coffee, because exactly what I need on this run is more hyperactivity. Crit chance, why you shouldn't have, bae. Thank you, I love you, you're the best. Oh, little exploding bats. Click. Oh, and they're all stunned, they're all like, ah, what happened? Yo, succubus, no thank you. Another riot shield. This would have to be the greatest riot shield. Actually, no, it's not. Imagine you could dual wield shields. I would dual wield two riot shields in a heartbeat. Food lady! It feels like so long ago, even though it wasn't, but it feels like it was so long ago. Uh, more crit. Start with the crit. I'll come back and get the hot chicken stew, I think, once I'm done clearing out some more of this trash. Imagine you're this plant and you live in a fiery domain. And then all of a sudden, this kawaii little Japanese girl called Lotus shows up with a huando and a camera. And she goes clickety clickety clickety. And you die. In the shop, what we have here? The Kuji Kana Sat. Dude, another Kuji? Another Kuji? Yo, I'm the one who clicked. Why did I get stunned? But I'm the one who clicked. I would like some better accessories, actually. I want to replace my fortune cookie and my monocle. Could I get some better accessories, please? That would make me very happy. Uh, click. And they're all dead. <laughs> why does the clicky do so much damage? I don't, I, I don't know why it does so much damage. Clicky? Oh, he lived. And this guy lived. Not for long, though. Perish. Perish and die and suffer forever. Oh, dude, you guys have no idea. The clickening is upon you. Click. Click. Wait. Doggos are spawning over here? Yo, doggos! Too bad they're all dead. Because I clicked my camera at them. I don't know why I didn't mention this sooner, but we actually have a fatal frame run going on right now. A cute little kawaii Japanese girl wielding a huando with a Kony Mex 5R camera going around clicking on problems to make it go away. This is totally a fatal frame run. Imagine for a minute that you're watching a Dungreed video, and then all of a sudden, this kawaii little Japanese girl called Lotus shows up, armed with a Huando and a Kony Mex 5R camera, and starts clicking all over the screen, and you're having a hard time seeing anything because it's just so disorienting, but then you realize this is a fatal frame run. How amazing is that? Coming back to the food lady. 
I was gonna buy the hot chicken stew. Yeah, let's get the chicken stew for a little bit of defense as well. A little bit of defense never hurt any. And that's it. We're making our way over to Envy Rock to absolutely decimate Envy with some of this, this, this ridiculous damage and power. Hello, Envy. Hello, hello, hello. Get clicked on. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. Yeah, I'm gonna be rude. I'm gonna be mad rude to you, Envy Rock. Click. Do it again. I dare you. Do it again. Be stupid. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh! Ugh! And he dies. Flawless victory. Flawless. Cut him to pieces. Cut him to pi- a, a literal water pistol. A stick. Or more coffee? I'll take more coffee. I need more hyperactivity. Look, look. I'm, I'm clearly not on enough caffeine. Give me some- Give me some more crit. What's our crit even at right now? Defense is at a clean 50.2%. Couldn't get a cleaner number than that. 71.1% on that crit chance. Oh, and now it's up to the peaceful grasslands. Don't worry. The peaceful grasslands is, is one of the most chill and relaxed environments to ever grace a video game. This is sheer relaxation. Sheer relaxation at its best. Ow. He just jumped on me for a lot of damage. I don't appreciate that, Mr. Big Robo Guy. So I'm gonna come in here to the food shop lady, who I do appreciate immensely, who has sparkling water! And I'm gonna buy the grilled mushrooms, which also increase my critical damage. So my crits not only hit for critical damage, but heavy critical damage. Buy the sparkling water. More crit, more crit and power. Defense, you know what? Give me the tomato soup. Give me the- wait, I can't. Damn it! I thought I went down low enough in my say shitty. I want, I want more. I want more tomato soup. I just, I want more. Give me more critical hits. I want more critical hits. If the enemies die before they have a chance to exist, that's good for me. You know, that's good for me. Yo, dragon, say cheese. <laughs> Get it? It's a dragon and dragons love cheese. You know how dragons notoriously love cheese? Yeah, you get it. Man, she just died. The samurai soul! No! My heart and soul. And the Huando is not a katana. And if it was a katana, it'd be so broken because it's a one handed and you can have an off handed thing with it, like the camera. The reason why katanas are balanced, or the way that katanas are balanced, is around the fact that they're two handed weapons. But here we have a fun little accessory room. That ring down there, pretty powerful little item. Um, I don't think I really want to do some re-rolling. I might just take this ring. Yeah, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Ring of suppression. So the way this ring works, right? Oh, we've got a little plus eight power on it, nice. When combat starts, power increases by up to 100. So our power is naturally minus 50 by equipping this, right? Which it's gonna hurt because we're at 132. Ready? Ready? Oh! It goes down so much. But hold up, hold up, hold up. By entering a new combat room, when we enter the new room, our power is at 90, and it will very quickly start to go up as we fight. See? Look, look how fast it's going up, right? And it's going to increase as we fight and do damage. Whoa, peaked at like 190 right there. So basically, as you fight, it's gonna go up even higher. So we have a, a lower minimum damage right now when a fight very first starts, but all we have to do is start swinging and doing some damage and fighting. And that power is going to shoot up way higher than what it was before. This is going to reward active combat and, and actually slaying these enemies. We're going to notice a nice, you know what, say cheese. Accept the Honda into your life and soul. Ah! I didn't, I didn't. Does that count as falling into a hole? Does that count as falling into a- It better not. I swear it better not count as falling into a hole. Yo, hit him with the Huando. Hit him with the Huan- Yo, yo, yo. Rudeness, don't. By the way, I can cut missiles. Can you cut missiles? No. Imagine for a minute that you are an entire grasslands full of weird lightning creature things. Dragons, mechanical machinations designed to do mechanical things. Dragons that shoot lightning and weird lightning doggos. And then all of a sudden, this totally cute and kawaii little Japanese girl called Lotus, armed with her Huando, 
and Kony Mex 5R camera comes out of nowhere, clicking and slashing and bopping and grooving, and you die. And you are a broken metal hump of trash, rotting away on the grasslands floor, moss growing all over you, forgotten to time. Shop dude, digestant. Ooh. Digestant is actually, I'm probably gonna get rid of uh, my stupid monocle. I could take the eye patch. Um, but no, Digestant, are you kidding? 20% more gold drop and plus one to satiety decrease when entering a room. So instead of losing two upon walking into a new room, we will now lose three. And I know what you're thinking, it's like, that's just one extra. Yeah, that's one extra satiety for every room we enter. So if we start here and we went through, I don't know, let's just ballpark 15 rooms or so, that's an extra 15 satiety that we've reduced. Now, speaking of satiety, let's come over here to the shop lady. We've got a lot of defense over here. We've got more crit chance there, more crit chance here. Mm, what's my crit looking like? 70%? 52% defense. You know what? Shoutouts to Baguette Game Girl. We're going with the bread. I want some defense. We need to we need to even this out and uh, make sure we're not too powerful in one regard and not powerful enough in another. Also, we need to come over to the altar before I forget and drop some of these goodies in there. I'm going to hold on to my samurai soul for now, right? I just, I feel too sad about getting rid of it. I know it's only a blue item, but it's just so fun on katanas, dude. You get this on a Muramasa, and it's like, ah, oh, it's so fun. Anyway, let's come in here and fight Slime. Everybody's favorite boss, the Slime Maker. Especially when you're using a melee focus uh, build. I shouldn't have used my, uh, my, my special Huando ability just there. I should have waited. All right, he's gone all red and stuff. We're gonna, we're gonna bait. These little red slimes. Oh, oh, oh. Really? 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 Could you let me? Thank you. I, I just, I just wish to get in here and do some damage. I mean, I'm doing good damage, but this fights. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, die, die. Patience is, is, ah, patience of people who are patient. Perish. I'm plenty patient, by the way. I have huge patience. Don't think that this reflects poorly on my patience ability. Come on, man! And they give me the Dokebi Sheath! Which is the exact other item that you need for the Lazy Sword Senzen set. This would have been an amazing katana run. Why are you not a katana? Why are you not a katana? It's a trap. This is a trap. I'm not going to equip it. I would have to equip both the Samurai Soul and that to get anything out of this. And right now... The only thing I'd want to replace is maybe my iron armor, but even then, even then, no. Instead, I'm going to enhance my camera, you know, boost that clicky clicky. Plus 14 power and 20% better performance. Whoa, that's a lot of power. Thank you. Thank you for that boost of power. That is incredible. I appreciate that, dude. All right, finally in the last area, we're going to try and find the food shop as soon as possible since we are going to be dropping a lot of satiety very quickly and uh, buy what we can. No, say cheese. You thought it was I was the one who says cheese? No, it is actually you once again who was the one who says cheese. Hawk earrings, not bad, not bad. Move through here and it's the, ah, oh, it's this. 24% uh, gold drop on those hawk earrings though, damn. Coming along with some nice boosts right there. Poison bottle, we don't use poison. Make my way back to the middle where I started. I need to find the shop lady. Here she is, just in time. Perfect. She has grilled mushrooms, crit and crit damage. I love it, I love it. Fried egg, some max HP and power, or just some raw power. I might get the fried egg. I might get both if I can, who knows? Imagine for a second that you are this giant dude who, who has full manipulation over gravity itself, and then this Totally kawaii, adorable little Japanese girl called Lotus comes along with her Huando out of nowhere and a Kony Mex 5R camera, both upgraded to their peak performance. And she just kills you and you have no way of fighting back. Doesn't that sound like it would just suck? It's a pretty uh, uh, devious fight strategy to uh, jump in, click the camera, have everyone temporarily go blind 
and then destroy them all while they can't see. It's it's actually quite devious. Devilish almost. Maybe Lotus is is is, you know, pure evil. Maybe Lotus isn't the hero of the story. Maybe she's been the villain all along. Click. Ha <laughs> ha. They tried to touch me and they died as a result. Don't touch Lotus. Don't touch Oi! Don't do that to Lotus. You die. I'm Batman. Yeah. Clicky. The clicky didn't work. The bat has night vision. He has night vision goggles on. Wait, no, he doesn't. He's an idiot. Imagine for a second you're these dudes. I didn't notice my satiety was at zero. But that's fine, because I can just buy both anyway. This is the last food shop. It doesn't matter. As long as I can get the food, it's fine. Come over here to the tribute panel thingy, the altar. Let me, let me just dump all of this stuff over here. Fantastic. Now that that altar is maxed out, I'll get a nice new awesome item once we finish this run. And we're ready to go over and take on Lasley. All right, Laz, I don't like you and you don't like me. So let's just make this a clean fight, all right? Let's make this easy and clean. Now, of course, I can't stun a boss. Makes sense, I guess. I don't, I don't have to like it, but you know, that's just the way that things are. Come over here, decimate him really quickly, drop down, fight all of his little minion summons. Because, you know, there's a bunch of corruption and evil stuff going on. You know, I don't know the law. But imagine. Imagine for a second you're Lasley. And then all of a sudden, this totally kawaii little Japanese girl called Lotus shows up with her Wanda and her Kony Max Fireball. Totally slays all of your minions. They're over here praying. Too bad for them. They need to pray more. <laughs> it's not good enough. Oh, the evasion though. The evasion though. The tactics. The tactics. Oh! Imagine for a second you're Leslie! And I forget how many phases you've done. And you die and give me all of your money! What do I got here? What do I got here? A hammer. Gold or more max life, which is the only thing I need here because we're moving on to the final confrontation. Imagine for a second you're a viewer. You've tuned in for a downgrade video. And then out of nowhere, a kawaii Japanese girl called Lotus with a Wanda and a Kony Max Fireball shows up out of nowhere and blinds you. Flash. And then proceeds to decimate <laughs> the like and dislike bar because people hate me. <laughs> Hello, Carmenella. How are you doing today? Flash, are you doing good? Oh, you're gonna do this? Don't do this. This is mad annoying. This is frustrating. Here, let me do a little Huando action right now. There we go. Yay. Ah, oh, I hate this move. Where are you? What are you doing? This one is mad annoying lady. Oh, she's dead. The first phase is down. Second phase commence. I could die here, by the way. I, 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 I often forget to tell people, but I am not good at fighting Carmenella. Um, especially with a melee weapon. For some reason, melee weapons and Carmenella and me just don't get a lot out. Just, they just don't get along. Slash, 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 slash. I suck at it. I absolutely am the worst. Ow! Ow! See, she's kicking me right now. She's got these, like, like black holes all set up around the screen. Oh, I, did, I tried to do my big slash. No! I tried to do my cool slash to finish her all anime and stuff. No! Instead, I flashed her. That sounds bad out of context. Yo, wrap her up. Capture this Pokemon. I love how it does the little... Look, 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 look. I love how it actually does the Pokeball thing, where it wiggles for a bit, and then it's like... Success! Carmenella was captured. And there we have it. We're going to leave. Leaving this place. Leaving this place. Adventure success. Wonderful. Now let's see. The Huando. I just used the Huando. I can't I can't take that anyway. I'm pretty sure we can't take an enhanced thing. The Kuji? Nah, that's whatever. The Kony Max 5R? Yeah, that's pretty cool. You've also got things like the Samurai Saw. I think maybe the Blood of Sorbeo is what I'm going to go with. The other stuff is all too good. The Blood of Sorbeo? 
It doesn't get used enough, you know? The Blood of Sorbet needs to be used more. But I hope you had fun nonetheless with this uh, Wando Kony Mex Fiver kawaii Japanese girl called Lotus Run. <laughs> but with all of that said and done, I've got to get out of here. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Have a good one.